Hi folks, welcome back to Resin Art Creations. This is part two of the resin tray. Once again, I'm going to be showing you the supplies that I'm using for this project. So I am using art resin, which is a two part epoxy resin, a heat gun, which has a number of settings on it, some plastic cups, a spirit level, a blowtorch, lollipop sticks, some toothpicks and I use these to pick out any dust particles uh, which has landed on the actual piece itself. And here's some mic powders that I'm using from Arteza. So here you've got Iris Purple. This is the Meron Metallic Gold, which I actually used in part one as part of my underpainting. And it did actually take over the piece, but that's probably because I actually added too much in. Here you've got the Bubble Gum Glow from Arteza. You can just about see that. And here you have the transparent violet pigment from Resonate. And here you have the alcohol ink, which is violet. Just a few tips, make sure you've got your alcohol wipes ready, you've got your gloves on. I'm actually working in a well ventilated area, wearing a respiratory mask with integrated filters and also making sure that I've got my blue paper towels at ready. This is layer one to my resin tray which I created in part one and it's my underpainting. As I demonstrated in my last video, I did mix up a two part epoxy resin from Art Resin. So it's one part hardener to one part resin. And I pour this into a plastic measuring cup. For this second layer, I did actually mix four ounces of resin in total. So two parts resin, two parts hardener. Um, for the first layer, I did mix three ounces. Just a tip to ensure that the resin does cure fully, you do need to mix it up thoroughly for approximately three minutes, um, ensuring that you do scrape all the sides um, when doing so. What I'm going to be doing now is adding a small amount of resin to each shot glass, and then I'll be adding in a small amount of mica powder and alcohol ink to each shot glass and mixing them thoroughly. I do like to be environmentally friendly and recycle all the materials that I use in my creation process and this includes the plastic cups, the measuring cups, the actual um, shot glasses, my lollipop sticks. Once the resin is cured I actually pull out the resin and I just recycle them. So here I'm adding iris purple from Arteza and I'm just going to be adding a small amount to the resin and making sure that I do once again mix it in thoroughly. Here I'm trying to show you what the iris purple mica powder looks like but um, as you can see I'm not doing a very good job of this. 
as you can see my camera just does not want to focus so I guess it's just one of those things I really am trying I promise I'm going to be adding in the violet alcohol ink into the resin and I just add in, I think it's just a drop or two. Um, it is very transparent so I do add in a little bit more but as I mentioned in my previous video you've got to be very careful with the ratio of mica powder or alcohol ink or pigment powder whatever you use, whatever you um, use to colour the resin with, you have to be very careful with how much you put in percentage wise. So um, it's 90% resin and 10% of the, you know, the actual element that you, you choose to add in. The bubblegum glow from Arteza is now added in to the resin and it's, it's got a tint of purple in this. And you can just about see it um, but when you add it in to the clear resin you can see the color shifting so it's got like a color shifting element to this particular mica powder Here I'm moving on to the transparent violet from Resin8 and um, this is one of the main colours um, which I incorporate into the piece. I'm just showing you the colours which I've mixed up and then I'll be moving on to the next stage. I do actually add some Fine Mix Eco Glitter Deep Space Purple from Resonate. I just wanted to add something different to the piece and I thought, well, why not? I was contemplating in adding these Natural Gold Mineral Flakes from Resonate, 
and they are beautiful you can see that but in the end I did decide not to add them into the piece and I chose to use this um, holographic glitter instead um, so it's not Chinese five spice as it says in the bottle it is actually holographic silver glitter from just for you online which is a UK seller um, it is a beautiful glitter and to be honest all the glitters which I've bought from just for you online they're absolutely stunning so unfortunately my camera decided to stop filming so the next part you'll see is the colors already poured onto the tray I have poured the transparent purple, violet and eco glitter deep space purple on one side of the tray and the iris purple and holographic silver glitter on the other side of the tray. I'm going to be using my blowtorch to blow out any bubbles which have risen to the surface and then I'm going to be adding some more transparent purple, violet um, to the side as well. Now you see me using my heat gun. This enables me to warm up the resin. It becomes more fluid so that I can move it around and try and push it to the sides as well. This also thins it out and blends the colors in with the clear resin. I'll mix them together um, without you know, becoming actually muddy. Tilting the tray also helps with the movement, shape and composition of the piece. And you can also see the parts of the underpainting, which is exactly what I was after. So the blowtorch comes back out again to um, actually remove any air bubbles and to loosen up the resin. And then the heat gun is applied 
to actually create some movement and give the piece some shape and some further composition. Do bear in mind that you do have a set working time when it comes to working with epoxy resin. The resin which I use, which is art resin, gives me approximately 45 minutes. So, you know, it is a matter of making sure that you've got everything ready, that you're prepared and you've got some kind of plan in mind or some composition. Having said that, you know, the plans do change. Um, the composition can change and that's just something that's part of the creation process, to be honest. Here are close-ups of the piece. I'm really happy with it. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please do join me next time. In my next video, I will be creating another epoxy resin piece. If you'd like me to try a particular project, just let me know in the comment section or message me privately. So until next time, have a great day. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave me a comment and keep creating. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye bye.